Namigio Osguero Cervantes, American Spanish, Ne, modifier letter vertical line, Mesgios, modifier letter vertical line, Latin small letter gamma E, Latin small letter R with fish hook, a say, Latin small letter R with fish hook, modifier letter vertical line. Greek small letter B the Antis. Born the 17th of July 1966 or the 17th of July 1964, commonly referred to by his alias El Mancho. L. Modifier letter vertical line. Ment. Latin small letter Ash. O. Is a Mexican suspected drug lord and leader of the Jalisco New Generation Cartel, CJNG, a criminal group based in Jalisco. He is the most wanted criminal in Mexico and one of the most wanted in the U.S. Both governments are offering up to MX and dollar three zero million and U.S. dollar one zero million, respectively, for information that leads to his arrest. He is wanted for drug trafficking, organized crime involvement, and illegal possession of firearms. El Mancho is reportedly responsible for coordinating drug trafficking operations in the Americas, Europe, Asia, Africa, and Oceania. Under his command, the CJNG became one of Mexico's leading criminal organizations. Born into poverty in Mexico, El Mancho grew avocados and dropped out of primary school before immigrating illegally to the U.S. in the 1980s. After being arrested several times, he was deported to Mexico in the early 1990s and worked for the Milenio cartel. He eventually climbed to the top of the criminal organization and founded the CJNG after several of his bosses were arrested or killed. His notoriety is also a result of his aggressive leadership in sensationalist acts of violence against both rival criminal groups and Mexican security forces alike. These attacks brought him increased government attention and an extensive manhunt. Security forces suspect he is hiding in the rural terrains of Jalisco, Michoacan, Nayarit, and or Kalima, and is guarded by mercenaries with former military training. Early life Nemigio Osguero Cervantes was born on the 17th of July 1964 or 1966 in the rural community of Naranjo de Chile in Ajualila, Michoacan, Mexico. His first name is cited as Ruben and or Nemisio. He has alternative aliases like Nemisio, Ruben A. Sergara Cervantes, Lorenzo Mendoza, and Nemigio Osguero Ramos. Some sources state that his birth given name was Ruben, but that he changed it to Nemigio in memory of his godfather. He is widely known by his alias, El Mancho, a nickname that derives from the phonetic derivation of Nemigio. Another nickname is, The Lord of the Roosters, said to be derived from his love for cockfighting. E. El Mancho grew up in a poor family that cultivated avocados. He had five brothers, Juan, Miguel, Antonio, Marin, and Abraham. He dropped out of primary school in fifth grade to work in the fields. At the age of 14, he started guarding marijuana plantations. A few years later, he decided he wanted a better life for himself and immigrated illegally to the U.S. state of California in the 1980s. To conceal his identity in the U.S., he used different names in combinations, like Ruben Avila, Jose Lopez Prieto, Miguel Valdez, Carlos Hernandez Mendoza, Roberto Salgado, among others time in the U.S. in 1986, he lived in the San Francisco Bay Area. He was arrested by the San Francisco police at the age of 19 for stolen property and carrying a loaded gun. Two months after his arrest, his first child was born. According to border entry records, El Mancho crossed the U.S.-Mexico border several times during the late 1980s under other aliases. The DEA and Mexican investigators believe that it was during this time that he became involved in meth production and trade in Redwood City, California, San Mateo County, alongside his brother-in-law Abigail Gonzalez Valencia, alias L C U E N I N 1989. El Mancho was arrested again in San Francisco for selling narcotics. He was deported to Mexico several months later, but re-entered the U.S. and resettled in San Francisco. In September 1992, he was arrested again, this time on federal drug charges in Sacramento, California. According to court records, 
El Mancho and his brother Abraham were at a San Francisco bar known as Imperial to carry out a heroin deal, five ounces for US dollar nine, five hundred. Abraham was in charge of the transaction, while El Mancho acted as a lookout. El Mancho was 26 years old at that time and much younger than Abraham, but he was savvy enough to recognize that the transaction was a setup by the police. He told his brother that the men who they gave the heroin handed perfectly stacked dollar bills instead of giving them loose ones. Through a wiretap conversation, the police overheard El Mancho warning his brother to never do business with them again since they were undercover cops. Arrest and deportation Three weeks after the incident, both men were arrested by the police. In court, El Mancho insisted that he was innocent. He said he was not involved in the heroin deal and that the undercover agents were lying about him handling the drugs. The prosecution insisted that both siblings were working together. El Mancho was left with few options. If he pleaded not guilty, his brother Abraham, who already had felony drug sentences in his record, would probably face life in prison. His defense understood that if he decided on a jury trial, they would likely win the case. He decided to plead guilty and protect his brother from life imprisonment. He was sentenced to five years and imprisoned at the Big Spring Correctional Center in Texas, which houses a large population of illegal immigrants. After three years, he was released from prison on parole and deported to Mexico at the age of 30. In Mexico, he joined the local police forces of Cabo Corrientes and Tomatlan in the state of Jalisco. After some time he left the police and joined organized crime as a full-time member of the Milino cartel. To strengthen his relationship with the Milino cartel, El Mancho married one of the clan leader's sisters, Rosalinda Gonzalez Valencia. It was in this criminal group where El Mancho would become a leading figure in organized crime. Rise to leadership in the Milino cartel El Mancho started as a member of the assassin squad that protected the drug lord Armando Valencia Cornelio, alias El Maradona. On the 12th of August 2003, his boss was arrested by Mexican authorities. Around the same time, a rival criminal group known as Los Zetas, with the backing of the Gulf Cartel, carried out an armed offensive against the Milino Cartel in Michoacan. The attack forced the Valencia family to exile in J-A-L-I-S-C-O. El Mancho relocated in the state capital, Guadalajara, with his father-in-law José Luis González Valencia, alias El Quini and Roman Caballero Valencia. In Jalisco, El Mancho and the Milino cartel formed an alliance with the Sinaloa cartel subgroup headed by Ignacio Nacho Coronel, a high-ranking drug lord and ally of Joaquin El Chapo Guzman. Under Coronel, El Mancho and his group managed the Sinaloa cartel's drug operations, finances, and murder activities in the states of Colima and Jalisco. On the 28th of October 2009, the Milino cartel's top leader Oscar Orlando Nava Valencia, alias El Lobo, was arrested. On the 6th of May 2010, his brother Juan Carlos, alias El Tiger, was arrested too. Two months later, Coronel was killed in a shootout with the Mexican army. Following their downfalls. The Milino cartel began to rupture and El Mancho tried to take over its leadership structure. One sect within the Milino cartel wanted to appoint as the leader of the group El Pidio Mojaro Ramirez, alias El Pilo, who worked closely with Oscar Orlando and Juan Carlos before their arrests. Eric Valencia Salazar, one of the clan members, wanted El Mancho to take command. El Mancho then asked the other Melino bloc to hand over Gerardo Mendoza, alias Takedo and or Kalki for killing a group of men that reported to him in Tecoman, Kalima. The other division refused El Mancho's request, prompting an internal war. The Melino cartel split into two. One side was known as La Resistencia, the other was Los Torcidos, headed by El Mancho. La Resistencia accused Los Torcidos of turning in Oscar Orlando to the authorities. A war ensued, and the two groups fought for the drug smuggling turfs in Jalisco.to legitimize its presence, 
El Mancho's group launched a propaganda campaign against its enemies, denouncing extortions done by rival gangs against civilians, businessmen, and government authorities. Los Torcidos eventually won the war and consolidated their influence in western Mexico. The group then changed its name to the Jalisco New Generation Cartel, Spanish, Cartel de Jalisco Nueva Generación, or CJNG. Leadership tenure as leader of the CJNG, El Mancho solidified his position and grew his organization through territorial expansion and by corrupting government officials. The CJNG went from being a small, offshoot criminal gang to one of the leading criminal groups in Mexico. Throughout the process, El Mancho established himself as one of Mexico's most wanted criminals. His rise to fame is due to a number of factors, including the aggressive and sensationalist displays of public violence by the CJNG. The direct attacks of the CJNG against Mexico's security forces earned El Mancho a reputation among authorities as principal enemy of the state and as a dangerous criminal. In addition, the fall of Mexico's former top crime bosses cleared the way for El Mancho to gain visibility and status. He consolidated his operations in Jalisco and its adjacent states by fighting off incursions from criminal groups like Los Zetas and the Knights Templar Cartel. According to government sources, he is responsible for overseeing the CJNG's entire drug trafficking operations in the states of Jalisco, Colima, and Guanajuato, where he created a bastion for methamphetamine production and trade. Their operational capacity in Mexico is concentrated in eight states Jalisco, Colima, Guanajuato, Nayarit, and Veracruz, where it holds a firm grip of drug trafficking operations, and Morelos, Guerrero, and Michoacan, where it fights competing rival drug groups. Between 2014 and 2016, the only region in the country where the CJNG lost its territorial presence was in Mexico City. Internationally, the CJNG reportedly has ties with criminal groups in the US, Latin America, Europe, Asia, and Africa. On an international scale, the CJNG is mainly focused on trafficking cocaine and methamphetamine. El Mencho was able to make the CJNG one of Mexico's most profitable criminal gangs. The government estimates that El Mencho's group has about US$50 billion in total assets. The success was shared with Abigail Gonzalez Valencia, his brother-in-law, who headed a drug trafficking group known as Los Uenis, allied to the CJNG. Abigail was arrested by the Mexican Navy on the 28th of February 2015. Part of El Mencho's success in the drug trade had to do with his ability to strategize market and consumer changes. Initially, the CJNG produced methamphetamine, but then he moved to heroin production when the consumer demand changed. Manhunt on the 25th of August 2012 a unit of the Mexican Federal Police based in Tonaya, Jalisco, responded to an anonymous tip stating that there was an organized crime cell present in a rural community close by. When the security forces got to the area, a shootout broke out between the two parties. Six CJNG gunmen were killed in the firefight. Initial reports stated that El Mancho was captured in the operation, but the Mexican government later confirmed that he was not in custody. Other reporting stated the U.S. authorities had alerted the Mexican authorities based on their surveillance of the subject's girlfriend who was importing meth at Gulfport, Mississippi. In a series of highly coordinated tactics to prevent El Mancho's arrest, the CJNG blocked several highways and roads across the Guadalajara metropolitan area by setting at least 37 vehicles on fire. The purpose of the burning vehicles was to place them as blockades to impede the security forces from traveling across Jalisco's capital and giving El Mancho ample time to escape. The blockades were placed in strategic routes to prevent police reinforcements to come in or leave Guadalajara. After the attacks were over, the government confirmed that El Mancho was in the area and had evaded capture. On the 19th of March 2015, in Ocotlan, Jalisco, CJNG gunmen ambushed a federal police convoy. The total death toll was 11, five police officers, three civilians, 
and 3 CJNG gunmen. The attack was a response by the CJNG to protect El Mancho, who was reportedly in the area for a meeting. On the 23rd of March, Heriberto Acevedo Cardenas, alias El Gringo and El Guero, one of El Mencho's close associates, was killed in a shootout with the federal police in Zagolgo de Torres, Jalisco. Three other CJNG suspects were killed. According to government sources, Acevedo Cardenas directed CJNG cells in Zagolgo, Tlajamulco, Colcula, Tapalpa and Edimajac to Brizula. JALISCO.IN response to his death, El Mancho commanded the CJNG to carry out attacks against the Mexican Federal Police. On the 30th of March, CJNG gunmen in Zapopan, Jalisco, ambushed a convoy containing Alejandro Solorio Arquiga, Jalisco's security commissioner. No one was killed in the fire exchange. On the 6th of April, CJNG gunmen blocked a road in San Sebastian del Oste, Jalisco, with a burning vehicle and opened fire at a convoy of the federal police, killing 15 policemen and wounding five more. The incident was the deadliest single attack on the Mexico's police force since 2010. That same day, Miguel Angel Caicedo Vargas, the police chief of Zacolco de Torres was killed by CJNG hitmen. A month later, on the 1st of May 2015, the Mexican government launched Operation Jalisco, a military led campaign that intended to combat organized crime groups in Jalisco and capture their respective leaders. The announcement came after a series of violent attacks from the CJNG in previous weeks. The day the operation was inaugurated, Intelligence reports stated that El Mancho was in Tonaya, which prompted an offensive to apprehend him. As the security forces moved to the area where El Mancho was allegedly hiding, a gunfight broke out between law enforcement officials and gunmen of the CJNG.IN. The small town of Villa Purification, Jalisco, El Mancho's men shot down a Mexican army helicopter with a rocket-propelled grenade launcher, killing nine soldiers. The battle extended throughout several municipalities in Jalisco. El Mancho's men blockaded several roads across the Guadalajara area to slow down the mobilization of law enforcement and facilitate their leader's escape. The CJNG set 39 buses, 11 banks, and 16 gas stations on fire. The attack spread through 20 different towns and in three neighboring states. According to the Mexican government, El Mancho may be hiding in the state of Jalisco, the CJNG's stronghold. They believe he does not stay in one place for long, and travels across several municipalities in Jalisco and into the states of Michoacan, Colima, and Nayarit. He usually travels across the mountains and rural terrains in these areas since it provides multiple escape routes in the event that security forces attempt to encircle him. Authorities suspect El Mencho's inner circle is made up of mercenaries with former military training. His second security circle is much larger in size and serves as a rear guard to notify El Mencho's inner circle of suspicious activity and ambush potential parties that attempt to get close to him. Criminal charges since the 2000s the DEA office in Los Angeles, California, tracked El Mencho's activities and detected that the CJNG had expanded its drug trafficking operations internationally. In 2000, the U.S. government discovered that El Mencho was involved in a cocaine and methamphetamine operation internationally. Five years later, they discovered he had used firearms to facilitate his operations. In 2007, the DEA discovered that El Mancho was involved in a cocaine operation that went through Colombia, Guatemala, Mexico, and ended in the U.S. They also uncovered a second cocaine shipment from Colombia, Mexico, to the U.S. in 2009. The DEA detected that El Mancho was involved in another cocaine shipment originating from Ecuador. Two more shipments were then detected in 2013 from Mexico, then the U.S. in 2014. However, the DEA noticed a radical shift in the CJNG's modus operandi. El Mancho was discovered to have coordinated a methamphetamine shipment that went from Mexico to Australia then to the U.S. by leveraging China-based gangs. On the 27th of September 2011, 
Mexico's Office of the General Prosecutor, PGR, issued an arrest warrant for El Mancho and offered MXN$2 million for anyone who can help provide information that leads to his arrest. He was accused of organized crime involvement and illegal possession of firearms. In March 2014, the United States District Court for the District of Columbia, based on the previous investigations by the DEA, indicted El Mancho for several charges, including drug trafficking and for being leaders of a continuing criminal enterprise. El Mancho and Abigail were accused of coordinating shipments of cocaine and methamphetamine from South America via Mexico to the U.S. They also stated that the CJNG and Los Uinis coordinated the collection and delivery of the drug proceeds from the U.S. to Mexico. In addition, the United States District Court for the Western District of Texas is looking to convict El Mancho for drug trafficking offenses. On the 18th of December 2017, 17-year-old YouTube star Juan Luis Lagunas Rosales, known as El Pirata de Culiacan, English, the Pirate from Culiacan, was gunned down in a bar in Jalisco by a group of four men armed with rifles, shortly after Lagunas Rosales published videotaped insults towards El Mancho. Police are investigating whether El Mancho gave the order to execute him, but no charges have been filed. On the 15th of August 2018, the PGR announced they were offering up to MXN$30 million to anyone who provides information that leads to El Mancho's capture. This announcement was made public when the DEA and Mexican authorities prepared to reveal a new cooperation plan against organized crime, which included a stronger focus against their financial structure and the creation of a law enforcement group responsible for investigating international cases. The bounty derives from a new arrest warrant issued against him for his alleged participation in masterminding the kidnapping and murder of two agents of the Criminal Investigation Agency, AIC, a branch of the PGR, in February, 2018. On the 16th of October 2018, the Departments of State, Justice, and Treasury announced a joint law enforcement measure against the CJNG, and increased El Mencho's bounty to US$10 million from US$5 million. This increase was one of the largest approved in the history of the Narcotics Rewards Program. Kingpin Act designation on the 8th of April 2015, the United States Department of the Treasury's Office of Foreign Assets Control, OFAC, sanctioned El Mencho under the Foreign Narcotics Kingpin Designation Act. Kingpin Act for his involvement in international drug smuggling operations. The sanction was joint investigation conducted by the Treasury and the DEA office in Los Angeles as part of a larger effort with their Mexican counterparts to sanction drug trafficking groups in Mexico. The sanction extended to the CJNG, his brother-in-law Abigail Gonzalez Valencia, and Los Uinis. As part of the sanction, all the U.S.-based assets and or assets in control of U.S. individuals on behalf of El Mancho, Gonzalez Valencia, the CJNG, and Los Uinis, were frozen in the U.S. In addition, the act prohibited U.S. citizens from engaging in business activities with them. On the 17th of September 2015, the OFAC sanctioned five businesses in Jalisco for financially supporting the CJNG and El Mancho's operations. The sanction was a result of another investigation done by the Treasury and the DEA office in Los Angeles. All the U.S.-based assets of these businesses were frozen, and U.S. citizens were prohibited from doing business with them. The businesses were a sushi restaurant in Puerto Vallarta in Guadalajara, a tequila company in Guadalajara, a rental cabin business in Tupulpa, and an advertising firm and agricultural company, both in Guadalajara. According to the report, the diversity of these businesses showed that the CJNG was successful at penetrating the economy. On the 27th of October 2016, the OFAC sanctioned nine more individuals for providing material and financial assistance to El Mancho and Gonzalez Valencia and their respective groups, the CJNG and Los Uinis. The sanction was also a result of another investigation done by the Treasury and the DEA office in Los Angeles.
The sanction was an attempt by the U.S. government to disrupt the inner circle of complicit family members within the CJNG and Los Uenis and affect their finances in Mexico's domestic economy. The individuals sanctioned were El Mencho's brother Antonio, his son-in-law Julio Alberto Castillo Rodriguez, five of Gonzalez Valencia's siblings, Arnulfo, Edgar Eden, Elvis, Marissa Yvette, and Nomi, businessman Fabian Felipe Vera Lopez, and attorney Maria Teresa Quintana Navarro. All their U.S.-based assets were frozen, and U.S. citizens were prohibited from doing business with them. CJNG infighting and split in March 2017, infighting within the CJNG showed when Almancho ordered the murder of high-ranking CJNG member Carlos Enrique Sanchez, alias El Cholo. The plot to murder El Cholo, who was targeted by El Mancho after El Cholo murdered a CJNG financial operator nicknamed El Colombiano, failed. El Cholo afterwards retaliated by co-founding a new cartel called the Nueva Plaza Cartel. CJNG co-founder Eric Valencia Salazar also split with El Mancho and became a high-ranking leader in the Nueva Cartel. They also have formed a rivalry with El Mancho and the CJNG as well. El Cholo was later murdered, with his body being discovered stabbed and wrapped in plastic on a park bench in downtown Tlaqueapec on March 18, 2021. Family El Mancho has five brothers, Juan, Miguel, Antonio, Marin and Abraham. In the 1990s, Abraham in California was given a 10-year sentence. In 2013, Mexican authorities accused him of murder in Michoacan. The charges were later dropped and the case was closed. Marin was accused in a California court, but the charges are not available to the public. Antonio lived in the U.S. and was released from a Mississippi prison in 2001 after completing his sentence for property damage charges. He was arrested in Jalisco on the 4th of December 2015 by the Mexican Army and Navy for working as one of El Mencho's top financial operators. According to the Mexican government, Juan and Miguel are involved with the CJNG. Juan was charged in Michoacan for burglary, but the case was later dismissed. Rosalinda Gonzalez Valencia is the wife of El Mancho. They have three children, Jessica Johanna, Lysha, and Ruben Osgara Gonzalez, alias El Mancino. Jessica Johanna is married to Julio Alberto Castillo Rodriguez, alias El Ojo de Vidrio, first arrested on the 1st of May 2015. He was released on the 1st of July for lack of evidence, but was rearrested again on the 6th of April 2016 for his involvement in the CJNG. El Mencho's son Ruben was regarded by the Mexican government as the second in command in the CJNG prior to his arrest in 2014. He was released from prison on several occasions for lack of evidence, but was rearrested each time by the police for additional charges. In addition, Mexican authorities suspected in 2016 that Omar Eliezer Osgara Cervantes was part of the CJNG leadership structure. Though he has identical last names as El Mancho, he was listed as his son-in-law and not as one of his brothers. He reportedly works as one of his top security chiefs. El Mencho's brother-in-law Elvis Gonzalez Valencia was arrested in 2016 as well. He had served as the CJNG's lead financier. He was later released in December, 2016.In May 2018, El Mencho's wife Rosalinda was arrested on money laundering charges. Rosalinda was later released after being granted a bail of 1.5 million pesos, $78,000, in September 2018, but remains criminally charged and will still face trial. In April 2019, El Mencho's godson Adrian Alonso Guerrero Covarrubias was arrested on charges of drug trafficking and kidnapping. Guerrero served as El Mencho's regional head in the Cienega and northern Los Altos regions in Jalisco, along with southeastern Guanajuato.In February 2020, El Mencho's daughter Jessica Johanna, 33, 
known as La Negra, was arrested in Washington, D.C. when she went to see her brother Ruben, who was extradited in the U.S. for drug trafficking. She was charged with engaging in transactions or dealings in properties with businesses blacklisted by the Treasury Department and providing financial support to the CJNG. She pleaded guilty on March 12, 2021 and is scheduled to be sentenced on June 11. She faces up to 30 years in prison. See also list of fugitives from justice who disappeared Mexican drug war. Sources footnotes. References. External links Narcotics Rewards Program. United States Department of State Most Wanted Fugitive. Namigio Osgara Cervantes. Drug Enforcement Administration.